In other news, this week's Senate hearing with major social media platform CEOs has caused discussion about social media use, especially with younger users. The senators and family members dealing with tragic social media outcomes have pressed the head of these tech companies for answers and change of social media use. And our Caleb Yager joins us now live in the studio. Caleb, you got some local reaction to the hearing today. What are the main issues, big concerns about tonight? Yeah, good evening, Mike and Eva. Let's put it this way. According to the U.S. Surgeon General's advisory in 2023, nearly 95% of kids from 13 to 17 years old reported using at least one social media platform, with more than a third admitting to using social media constantly. Everything from negative mental health to restrictions on inappropriate content, these are some of the main topics on people's minds. Even the most best-intentioned parent. The social media Senate hearing on the final day of January. Senators, parents with pictures of kids harmed or taken away, blaming social media, demanding for change from major platform CEOs. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? No one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. Well, it's the typical dog and pony show. No one is going to go wrong by yelling at Mark Zuckerberg. He's that disliked. Professor Brian Sheridan at Mercyhurst University discussing his reaction to the Senate hearing, which was, in his opinion, unproductive. Could there be things done or should there be things done? Yes, but yelling at the CEOs, not going to get that done. It is really difficult to regulate without violating here in America the First Amendment. You're talking about pause practice. Now Professor Sheridan teaching his mindful communications course to a generation that grew up with social media. How does social media make you feel when you use it? Um, not great. I mean, I wish, like, I lived in a world where I didn't need it. Honestly, I don't feel good at all. Like, I honestly, every time I get on social media, I want to get off of it. This isn't just, it doesn't just fall on parents. It doesn't just fall on the tech companies. It's sort of all of us um, being responsible for it for all kids. Camille Dempsey from Penn West Edinburgh explaining that it is a collective effort, one that may take more than just one solution. I think there needs to be more outreach programs more training for families so that they understand what they're looking for, even things like um, parental controls. One student told me in her words that the next generation has more to worry about for social media than she ever did as a child. Some are pushing for legislation and safeguards, others wanting to keep freedom of speech, yet the underlying question remains, where do we go from here? Live in the studio, Caleb Yager, Erie News Now.